Hello and welcome to In Conversation. Today we have with us a very special guest, a leader, prominent leader from Arachal Pradesh. He heads a BJP now for the Northeast. He is now the convener for the BJP from the Northeast, Mr. Kiran Rejiju. Welcome to our show. Well, we know you as a leader from Arachal Pradesh, and, but we have seen that you have been championing the cause in election times in Meghalaya. But now you have the responsibility of Assam, Meghalaya and rest of Northeast. So how do you take this responsibility? Because today we are saying that the BJP is very, very upbeat and they are saying that they will be able to win at 24 seats in the Northeast region. Yes, uh, we are very confident, uh, especially after the formation of a National Campaign Committee headed by Narendra Modi ji. And, um, we are a part of that campaign committee team as a member from Northeast and specially assigned to look after Northeast. We have a special four committee member team. I'm confident that uh, we will be able to give a crushing defeat to Congress this time in the entire Northeastern states. Most of the seats we will be contesting on BJP tickets and some of the seats we have already alliance partners. Uh, in Meghalaya, in Nagaland, and not yet decided about Assam, but we are really gearing up on our own. So, out of 24 seats, we would like to have the record number of parliament seats this time from Northeast, so that our presentation in the parliament in forming the government in next 16 Lok Sabha should be credible one, maximum strength, as well as um, helping uh, Modi ji becoming the Prime Minister of India. Well, in Nagaland and Tripura, where we see that BJP has no inroads or not much inroads, I would say, and you know there is no Congress government, so probably that two states becomes your lookout. But in state like Assam, where you have four MPs as of now, and the last elections we have seen that you have not been able to put much impact, be it the municipal election, be it the panchayat election, or the last assembly election in Assam. So in such a scenario, what is it that you're banking? Is it the Modi mania which you're banking on, or is it BJP is really confident that it will make a significant impact this time around? Uh, three issues based on which we are confident. Number one, there's a clarity of leadership in BJP now. We are not a family-based or dynastic party. Our leadership is chosen democratically amongst the party leaders with proper consultation and the leadership is emerged. Secondly, the Congress party which has been ruling the Northeast for so long time, particularly in Assam, the corruption, the failure of the government machineries, the kind of a security failure in all aspects, the people must realize that we need an alternative party. Earlier we are not in a position to really force ahead of Congress, but this time we are geared up. Like in Arunachal Pradesh, last time I was defeated by a few hundreds of votes, right. and by huge capturing. But uh, after the sad demise of uh, late Chief Minister Dorji Khando, the Congress is not in a position to do all those kind of boot capturing. We are confident to rest back two seats from Arunachal and in Manipur and in Meghalaya. We have uh, some understanding with some local groups. And people are now saying that BJP is the only alternative to propel northeastern region into the national mainstream stage. We have seen the negligence of this region for too long. And if the Congress rule continues, it will be tragedy for this region. We are very rich states. We are uh, the region with the uh, uh, blessing of natural resources like petroleum products, natural gas, coal, mica, so many things, forest timbers, everything we have, God gifted natural resources. But the only thing lacking is the blessing or the care from the government of India. Hopefully, what Vajpayee's government did and where it left we would like to take off from there and put Northeast into such a situation where nobody can ignore Northeastern region. So the Congress corruption, BJP's uh, clarity in leadership and the commitment of the BJP cadres this time, this tree will propel BJP into the centre stage and we would be able to defeat Congress from this region. And people are saying that, we are watching the people's uh, 
uh, reaction and their uh, people's um, opinion is very positive towards us. For you, the opponent is definitely the Congress, and you know there is already a information campaign being led by different Congress-led government that Modi magic is not going to work. It can work in North India or maybe rest of India, but when it comes to North East, I think it's because it's based on Hindu to it, because guided by the RSS, and because it has a Hindu flavor to it, and most of the states in North East are Christian dominated. BJP has moved beyond this uh, communal attack which was being put by the Congress. Modi is symbol of development. BJP is the symbol of development as well as communal harmony. If you see the records of the country which we have seen in the last 66 years, the riots, mm -hmm. the kind of the communal tension, it is all Congress created, all Congress manipulated. The only unfortunate thing which happened in the BJP regime was in, Kong, in, in Gujarat in 2002. That was a very unfortunate incident which was sparked by an incident of that train burning. Thereafter, unfortunate, uh, the incident took place. We don't regret that. But now, the country wants a strong leadership. Modi has moved beyond communal line. It is the Congress which is saying that BJP or, or, or Narendra Modi is the representation or reflection of Hindutva. Hindutva doesn't say about communal lines or anything. It's just a, uh, it talks about uh, justice and uh, integral humanism. There's nothing to do with uh, any community particular or an agenda of a religious sect. It's not that. I'm not a Hindu, but I believe that the country needs a strong party and a strong leadership. That is what we present today, a credible alternative to the Congress. That is why uh, Torun Gogai's statement or the Congress leaders trying to portray BJP or Narendra Modi as a communal face, I think that will not work. We have seen the failure and the torture faced by the people because of the misrule or misgovernance conducted by the Congress party. So now people want to see a person or a party which will take care of the poor people. That is where the Congress propaganda of trying to polarize the voters' mind through uh, communal agenda will not succeed. People are intelligent, people know that. But when it comes to North East, as I have been sounding very, very repetitive, but the fact is that, you know, uh, you have to create the awareness among the people that BJP is an option because we cannot just yes. look at the uh, educated uh, votes or people in the urban centre, maybe for Gohati, Jorhat, Dibruger. These are urban centres where people are aware, people are uh, getting information about the party, people are getting to know the party and the deeds. But when it comes to remote area, unnecessary area, not reachable where we see that people are still ignorant, people are influenced by money. In such situ situation, how is BJP going to make their, you know, study their minds or right. you know, reach out to them? That is a very important point. Uh, one of the major hurdles we face in the uh, hill region or backward areas of northeastern part is that the money culture which was uh, basically started by the Congress, True. it's still playing a major role in influencing the poor innocent people's decision while voting. We have been able to penetrate to some extent. Now we need to get up further deep. What happened is, uh, for example, in Christian dominated areas, the entry of BJP was initially difficult because the Congress very, you know, well planned and in a manner very uh, systematically put across a kind of image towards BJP that BJP is anti-Christian or anti-Muslim. As I said, I'm not a Hindu. This Bharti Janata Party doesn't belong to the Hindus. I have personally seen, attended right from a long time, now 13 years I'm in a national executive uh, member as a part of the national office bearers. I've seen myself that this party is the only credible party to rule the country and the message must reach deep inside. For example, in Nagaland, when we are partner in the government with the Naga People's Front, where the, the Christians have voted for BJP. Like in Meghalaya, I have gone deep inside Garo Hills and Kasi Hills and Jantia Hills. Now people are saying that we need credible leader, we will vote for BJP. This anti-Christian tag being uh, given to BJP is not correct. That is why in Goa, the deputy chief mm. minister uh, currently Mr. Francis D'Souza, he's a Christian, and all the eight MLAs, uh, the Christian uh, MLAs, 
who are elected from BJP, they are convinced and the people have elected them only on the basis that BJP is... Not but how do we remove the misconception among the people? That's the issue. Yes, we... See, now the, the, the main advantage uh, with our party is that the media is reaching the deep pockets of the country through satellite channels and uh, other means. And through that, people are watching that so long Congress has been spreading all kind of misinformation to the uh, uh, backward people because they are not informed correctly of what is happening outside the world, outside their uh, village. So now they are seeing the television, they are uh, hearing from the radio, <clears throat> they are connecting with the, the urban people more frequently. Now they are realizing that this propaganda of the Congress was to befool the people so, so that they will not vote for BJP so that Congress continues to rule forever. People have realized that. That is why now yesterday I have come from deep uh, you know, uh, border areas with China in the, in the central part of Arunachal. People are telling me that this time we will vote for BJP. We will vote for you. We will vote for Narendra Modi. Because the price rise which is affecting every individual common man, the corruption, the, the money which comes from central government has been siphoned off on the way by the Congress leaders. So the governance system is totally failed in the remote areas. Now people realize that. That is why people are searching for the truth. And the truth is we are backward because of the misgovernance through Congress party. And Congress party has ruled 90% of the, the total governing period of independent India. People realize that. That is why they are searching for alternative. And here BJP stands as an alternative party. But I agree with you that we face challenges in some of these uh, pockets of the remote areas still. So I think in the next five to six months period, we will be able to cut across all these uh, barriers and we will reach the place. Rajiv Sahib, we understand that the BJP is holding a lot of consultation with different states and today there is a consultative meeting which you are having. So in uh, this is a like, position, how are we actually you know, shortlisting different bodies? Because I think in many of the elections which we have seen that in uh, assembly elections, BJP had not much candidate in other states. Assam, of course, it has always been doing well in terms of participation, but in the rest of Northeast, there has been so do you have enough leaders to contest now right uh, we are moving uh, to uh, two style of uh, campaigning one is a very scientific way of uh, campaigning through our um, uh, strategy by putting everything into our uh, cyber world through mm -hmm. facebook through other means of social media network and uh, through our booth management uh, through boot level committees and appointing in charge and each boot member will be directly connected with the central office so that national president or national general secretary or Modi ji or Adwani ji anybody can pick up telephone and call anybody in any part of the country so we are adopting some scientific method and at the same time we are using the traditional method of house to house campaign that um, our our uh, leaders and the candidates can reach out to the people on a house to house basis like program called Ghar Ghar Gaon Gaon Ki Abhiyan, like that. So we are very ready on, on the ground level in terms of workers. Now coming to the candidates, once we are ready with our infrastructure, our uh, ready-made party workers, finding appropriate candidate is not an issue. It becomes very easy. Now many top leaders, seniors, even those uh, ex-Congress leaders and those leaders who served in various political parties are, are flooding towards BJP. They're joining. So finding candidate will not be difficult. Earlier in some of the pockets in the Northeast, it is very personality-based um, election. So mm -hmm. even the party doesn't have presence, but somebody just take the ticket in. in so you election. feel that the party has evolved, the people's mindset has evolved in Northeast. Yes. Well, on this note, we take a short break, but when we come on the other side of the break, we discuss more.